During each of my ESL classes, I reward the students continuously for um, successful listening, successful reading, successful writing, and just constantly give praise to encourage them that they are doing a good job and to keep going. And um, there are a few ways that I take the opportunities to reward them, one of which is with one of which is record, one of which is, okay, let's try that again. One of the ways in which I um, reward my students throughout class is with gold stars. And I say, good job, you get a star. And they have the opportunity to earn five stars in each class. In addition to the five stars, I also reward them with a secondary reward throughout class time. And it can be an exciting um, and interesting way to implement new vocabulary um, and continue teaching um, through extension with these items. But sometimes it can be a little stressful to come up with new ideas, especially when you have repeat students, sometimes two, three, and four times a week, the same kiddo, and you wanna keep it fresh and exciting for them. So in my next video, I am going to share with you a few of my simple, fun, and interesting ideas for my level one students, level two, and level three students for their reward opportunities. Okay, here we go. I have several um, secondary rewards set up and ready to show you. Enjoy. Here are a few of my rewards that I've set up and um, I'm excited to share with you. This, um, most of these are more recent additions to my rewards. Um, this is the dress up reward. I give the student a choice. Would you like a shirt? Um, would you like the red shorts or the blue shorts. And this helps to build vocabulary um, and it's exciting for them. They think this little student is hysterical and they love when I say that this student is their name. Uh, so I have one little student who we she picks this reward often. So we're at Emma number seven. Um, she dresses her up so frequently. And then on the flip side, we have an opportunity for the boys too to dress up the character. We have a summer theme and um, the other side is the winter theme. And this is really effective both in level two and three, but in particular level three has the clothing unit um, I wear and I put on. And so it's really helpful too to have all these little pieces that you can show as examples. I also use the five stars throughout class and this cute little cookie jar, which I really like. Um, and I use it for all my littles levels one and two. I use it to sing, who gets a cookie from the cookie jar? And I call out the student's name and it gives them an opportunity to identify colors, to build their vocabulary with the new word cookies. Um, I say chocolates. And I also have them count the cookies they received at the end. I also found this very cool spinner recently at um, uh, Salvation Army and it was 79 cents. It was such a great find. I took the opportunity and I made this wheel to go around and I can switch it and um, add vocabulary words or sight words for different student levels. And then I just pull on the string and they sound out the word. Sometimes they get a star and get lots of praise when they read the word correctly. Popular cartoon in China right now is Big Ear Tutu. So for my levels one and two, I am having them reward Tutu with his ears. Um, and they can tell me to stop as I swirl the ear around and then they can see where it lands and they think it's hilarious, sort of like pin the tail on the donkey, but pin the big ear on Tutu. And I have the same thing with Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is pretty popular with my girls and most of them choose her when I give them an option. Sometimes I give options and sometimes I don't let them select, um, but for my older students, I usually let them pick. So today I had a 12 year old girl student and she did select 
Hello Kitty bows and she thought it was hilarious. And then for my littles, I also count um, ice cream. They can count their ice creams, they can do colors, they're rewarded um, with an ice cream. And they also love pizza. And they usually get excited to get a piece of pizza. And this is good for levels one and two, especially it encourages new vocabulary. Um, we can talk about different pizza toppings and we can count the pepperonis, which extends vocabulary and also mathematics. And they, they enjoy this one, the littles. And I also have an iPhone emoji reward. Um, this is excellent in the unit twos, um, some unit threes, but in unit two, we focus on emotions and feelings and they get a kick out of selecting which emoji they want to give um, to their phone. A few more reward ideas. I take advantage of the cookie jar and I switch it out for candy. And the littles really love to select the candy. I let them pick the colors that they like the most. And we fill our candy jar with all these goodies. When I have the older students in class, I have them memorize what is in this candy jar, the way it's set up. And I write numbers on the jar and I have them try and recall where this candy was placed in this jar and duplicate um, the reward in our candy jar and that's pretty fun and it's an additional challenge um, and strategy game. We also collect goldfish. The littles really love the fish and um, we use it for shapes and colors and size um, and then have them count the goldfish in their jar at the end of class. And sometimes we reward with good sweet sweet shop and they like to select, would you like a cupcake or a lollipop? And they get really excited to select what they would enjoy the most. Another popular cartoon character in China is Doraemon. And I just simply hand these out throughout the class and I let them pick which Doraemon they would like the most. And they get a kick out of seeing Doraemon and, and they like that the teacher knows some of their favorite cartoon characters. And lastly, and pr probably the most simple, but it always gets a good reaction, is the stacking candy reward. I hold them in my hand and I stack them as high as I can. And especially my older uh, male students, they get a kick out of when this candy starts to topple over. And it's just a lot of fun something so simple that can be so fun for them. For now, last but not least, we play a lot of tic-tac-toe. The kids love to play tic-tac-toe. Um, most understand how it works and those who don't, it's a learning opportunity to teach them three in a row. Um, I have them select the number that they want their crisscross um, or their circle to go in. They learn tic-tac-toe in level one. So you can use this um, reward opportunity with your littles too. I don't use it super frequently for them. Um, it's usually a reward that the older students enjoy more, but um, it's definitely welcomed as it's part of the units that we teach. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and thanks for watching.